Hello everyone, welcome back to Jump Study Lab YouTube channel. Let's continue with our lesson for IGCSC Chemistry, Chapter 5, Masses and Moon. Before further ado, let's continue with our study outline. Our study outlines for masses and moon comprises of relative atomic mass, relative atomic mass and moon of atom, why carbon 12 is used as a standard, relative molecular mass, mole and mass, and finally mole and gas volume. Let's look into the first topic, relative atomic mass. There are many types of atom. Each type of atom has a different mass and the mass of atom is too small to measure. We can only measure by comparing its mass. At present, carbon-12 is used as a standard of comparison. Reason being, its mass can easily measure with mass spectrometer. In addition, carbon-12 atom is 12 times heavier than hydrogen. Mass of one atom hydrogen is 1 over 12 of one atom carbon-12. As a conclusion, relative atomic mass of an element is the number of times one atom of the element is heavier than 1 over 12 mass of carbon-12. Example A. The relative mass of magnesium is 24. The relative mass of carbon-12 is 12. How many times is one atom of magnesium heavier than one atom of carbon-12. So, the formula to get this number of times of magnesium heavier than one atom of carbon is relative atomic mass of magnesium divided by relative atomic mass of carbon. So, from this question, you know that the atomic mass of magnesium is 24 and whereas atomic mass of carbon-12 is 12. So 24 divided by 12 is equal to 2. Let's look into the example B. Example B, element U is 12 times heavier than 4 than the elements neon. If the relative atomic mass of neon is 4, what is the relative atomic mass of element U? So the answer to this example is, you know the number of times of U is 12, but you don't know the relative atomic mass of U. So to get the relative atomic mass of U, you have to cross times. So 12 times 4 is equals to 48, then you get the relative atomic mass of U. Example C. How many times are two atoms of bromine heavier than five atoms of oxygen? Given in this question, relative atomic mass for oxygen is 16 and bromine is 18. So, based on the formula, the number of times is equal to relative atomic mass divided by relative atomic mass of the Oxygen. So you know that uh, two atom of bromine, so you have to multiply two times relative atomic mass of bromine, which is 80, two times 80 divided by five times relative atomic mass of oxygen, five times 16. So 116 divided by 90 is equivalent to 2. Next, you look into the relative atomic mass and mole of atoms. One mole of an element has a mass in gram. The value of mass equal to its relative atomic mass. I repeat, the value of mass equal to its relative of atomic mass. And relative atomic mass has no unit of measurement. 
I repeat, relative atomic mass has no unit of measurement. This is because it is just a ratio. Relative atomic mass related to proton and neutron in the atom. Relative atomic mass occurring atom range 1 for hydrogen to 238 for uranium. Question. Calculate the mass of one mole of atom given relative atomic mass of Pb is equal to 207 and Al, which is aluminium, is equal to 27. What is the mass of aluminium in 3.5 mole of aluminium? The mass of one mole atom is the relative atomic mass in gram. So, you can see from here, the value of mass of one mole is equivalent to relative atomic mass. But mass of one mole is defined in gram. Okay. Answer for this question is, to answer question A, one mole of atomic relative atomic mass of Pb to O7 and Al27. So, mass of one mole of Pb is equal to relative atomic mass of Pb in gram, which is 207 gram. And question B, what is the mass of aluminium in 3.5? mole of aluminium. To answer this is mass 1 mole of aluminium is equal to 27 gram. So it requests mass of 1 mole. So if mass of aluminium is 3.5 mole is equivalent to 3.5 multiplied by 27 is equal to 94.5 gram. Let's look into relative molecular mass. Relative molecular mass is a molecular is made of two or more atoms. If we know relative atomic mass of all different atoms in a molecular, we can calculate relative mass of the molecular. One mole atom has a mass equal to its relative atomic mass in gram. One mole molecular has a mass equal to its relative molecular mass in gram. Example, calculate the relative molecular mass of carbon dioxide, CO2. So answer, one molecule carbon dioxide consists of one atom of carbon and two atom of oxygen. This is a formula of carbon dioxide, CO2. So, Relative atomic mass of 2 oxygen is equivalent to 2 times 16. So, relative atomic mass of 1 atom carbon equals to 12. So, to get the relative molecular mass of carbon dioxide CO2 equals to 2 times 16 is equal to 32 plus 12 which is the value of carbon. So, the answer is 44. One carbon dioxide molecule is equivalent to 44 hydrogen atoms. It means that this molecular mass is 44 times as heavier as one atom of hydrogen. Let's look into mole and mass. We need, you need to count the amount of objects. In chemistry, mole is used to measure the amount of substance. The symbol of mole is MOL. One mole of atoms iron contain 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. One mole of atoms carbon contain 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. One mole of atoms aluminium contain 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. One mole of molecule hydrogen chloride, HCl, contain 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. The value 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 is called Avogadro's constant. 
mole is expressed in gram or gram mole. One gram mole carbon is equal to 12 gram. 12 gram of carbon contains 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 carbon atom. Mole is defined as the amount of matter that contains as many particles as there are in 12 gram of carbon. Mole and mass. Formula to determine the number of mole from the mass of a substance is found by dividing the mass of substance in gram by either relative atomic mass, relative molecular or formula mass for compound or element. Given the formula for calculate number of mole atoms in MOL mole is mass in gram divided by relative atomic mass or divided by relative molecular or mass in gram divided by formula mass in gram or mole. So the answer for this should be in gram or mole. Given the example for mole and mass, deduce the number of mole of calcium hydroxide COOH2 in 18.5 gram of calcium hydroxide. Given value calcium Ca is 40, oxygen is 16 and hydrogen is 1. Formula mass of CaOH2 is 40 plus oxygen 2 times 16 plus 1. So the total of this is equivalent to 74. Mole equals to mass divided by molar mass. So we get 18.5, which is 18.5 gram of calcium hydroxide, divided by 74. 74 is a formula mass of CaOH2. So the answer for this is 0 0.25 mole of CaOH2. Example B. Calculating reactive masses, calculate the maximum mass of iron form when 770 gram of iron oxide. Fe2O3 is reduced by excess carbon monoxide. Value is Fe equals to 56, oxygen equals to 16, and carbon equals to 12. The answer for method, method 1 is, step 1, you have to write balance equation for the reaction. Usually, usually be given this. Fe2O3 plus 3CO is to form 2Fe plus 3CO2. Step 2, you have to calculate the relevant formula masses. In this case, for Fe2O3 is... Fe equals to 56, but when Fe2O3 equals to 2 multiplied by 56 for the Fe, and oxygen is 3, have to multiply by 16. So the total should be 116. And step 3, you have to multiply each formula mass in gram by the relevant number of mole in the balance equation. 1 mole of Fe2O3 is 2 mole of Fe. So, 160 gram of Fe2O3 is to form the 2 times 56 gram. 56 gram is the value of Fe. So, you get 112 gram of Fe. And finally, step 4, you have to simple proportion to calculate the mass of iron produced is 112 gram of Fe divided by 160. You get the answer is 539 gram of Fe. Let's look at another example using the method 2. First, what you need to do is you have to write the balance equation for the reaction. Usually, this formula will be given Fe2O3 plus 3CO to form 2Fe plus 3CO2. Step 2, you have to calculate the number of mole of Fe2O3. 
So you get the value of F E203, which is 160. So you have to take 770, which is the value of iron, divided by 160, where you, have, you get the answer 4.8125 mole. And step 3, use the stoichiometry of the equation, which is 1 mole of F E203 is equivalent to 2 mole of F E. So when 4.81 8125 mole of Fe203 is equivalent to 9.625 mole of Fe. So, and finally, uh, step 4, you have to calculate the mass of iron where mass equals to mole times molar mass. So, mass of iron, 6.625 mole times 56 of Fe, you get the value of 539 Fe. Let's look into mole and gas volume. At room temperature and pressure of one atmosphere, one mole of gas occupy volume of 24. 24 dm3 or 24,000 cm3. And this volume of gas is called molar volume. The number of molar of a gas is a container. Volume of gas in CM3 is equal to number of mole times 24,000 CM3. So, and equals to volume of gas in unit CM3 at room temperature and pressure of one atmosphere divided by 24,000 because this is in unit CM3 divided by divided by 24,000. Example A, calculate the volume of 3.08 gram of carbon dioxide at room temperature and pressure. Value C equals to 12 and oxygen equals to 16. Step 1, you have to calculate mole of CO2, which is you get the value 3.08 divided by 12 plus 2 times 16, which is oxygen. So you get the value of 0 0.070 mole. And step 2, you have to calculate the volume using volume. So mole times molar gas volume in dm 3 So you already get the value of 0 0.070 mole times 24. So you get why 24 is not 24,000. Because the value is dm3. dm3. Okay, so this is the value 24,000 is the value in cm3. So you only calculate 24, so you get the value of 1.68 dm3. So, with that being said, I would like to wish you all the best in your study. Hope you are clear with the presentation of the subject matter. You can get the detailed customized note by clicking Jom Study La Instagram. Last but not least, please press the thumbs up like button or subscribe to Jom Study La YouTube channel and follow me at Jom Study La Instagram. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to free lectures Jom Study La at YouTube channel. Okay, that's all for today.